Hello everybody, Harvester here and welcome. This is a series of tutorial videos in which I walk you through how to make mods for Balsa Model Flight Simulator. So in this first video, we're going to look at how to get started with the Balsa SDK. So we're going to go all the way from downloading it and to getting it set up so that we can get started making mods for Balsa. So let's go. So here we are in the main menu of the game and we're going to start from here. So the first thing we want to do is head over to our official Discord server and head over to the modding channel. And the reason we're doing it this way is that you can find a link to the SDK up here in the modding channel's description bar. And that link will bring you here to the homepage of the Balsa SDK, which is also the start of the Balsa SDK documentation. So this is a wiki-like page where you will find information on how to get started and various topics on mod making for Balsa. But right now, all we want to do is download the SDK and you can do that here by just downloading the zip file. So we just go ahead and save that somewhere. The desktop is fine. And once it finishes downloading, this is about 200 megabytes. We can go ahead and extract it. So for that, you're going to need some sort of uh, extraction tool. I'm using 7-zip but you can use whatever you have. And I'm just going to extract it to a folder here on the desktop. There we go. So let's have a look at what's in here. So the Balsa SDK package is divided into several folders, but the most important of which is this first one here called Balsa Add-ons Unity. So Balsa is made in Unity and the Balsa SDK is actually a set of Unity tools so you can use Unity itself to create add-on content for the game. This folder contains a Unity project with all of the Balsa SDK tools. So if we just open that, you can see that we've got all the Unity project assets here. And to use these, we're going to need the Unity engine. And the way you do that is to simply head over to unity.com, hit the Get Started button, choose the uh, individual personal license and just hit download. And that will give you a uh, Unity Hub setup installer, which you can just run and just go ahead and install it. The default location is fine and run. Now I've already got a bunch of Unity projects set up here, as you can imagine, but we're going to go ahead and set up the SDK one. And all you need to do is come up here to open and it will ask you to select a folder where you can open a project. So we left ours in the desktop and let's browse up here to the SDK folder and select the Balsa add-ons Unity. And you just need to select this folder and hit open. So once you have the project open in the Unity Hub, it will probably ask you to install the Unity editor. So the Unity Hub is not the actual Unity editor. It's really just a launch pad for various Unity projects. And it also manages multiple Unity versions. So you're going to want to create a new install of Unity. Just switch over to the Installs tab and hit the Install Editor button here. Now for the BALSA SDK, at the moment we are using Unity version 2019.4, which is this one you will find on the Official Releases tab. So we'll just go ahead and install this one. So then you will see this screen where it asks you what uh, modules you want to have installed along with Unity. And in our case, we actually don't need any modules. So you can just leave them all unchecked. We can actually go ahead and uncheck documentation because all of this documentation is also available online and just hit install. So now the Unity Hub will automatically download and install uh, this version of the Unity Editor for you. And once it's done downloading, it will start installing it automatically. And we are done. So now you should be able to go back to the Projects tab here you might have to set the editor version here. So you just click there, select the editor version that you just installed and hit open. It might ask you to change the editor version of the project. So just go ahead and hit change version. You may also get this dialog saying that your project was last saved with a different version of Unity. Just hit continue. And there we go. Unity is starting up. It will do some importing, which might take a while. This whole part of the video is going to be sped up, so you don't have to suffer through this as much as I am. And there we go. 
uh, as you can see, we've got a number of errors here in the Unity uh, console window. What I would recommend just after you open it for the first time is that you go ahead and immediately close Unity. Then we can come back to the Unity Hub and open our project again. And that will just force it to re-import everything and sort itself out. Okay, so Unity is open again. And the first thing you're probably going to see is a window coming up, which is this FMOD setup wizard. So Balsa uses FMOD as an audio engine and the FMOD integration makes this window come up. So for now, we'll just go ahead and close this and we'll look at this again in a later video. So let's have a look at what's in the Balsa SDK project. Now, keep in mind, this is not a Unity tutorial. There are lots of great tutorials on learning the basics of Unity out there. Uh, you can just do a quick Google search or a YouTube search and you will find a huge amount of excellent quality tutorials that are way better than what I can do. So here I'm effectively assuming that you have some familiarity with the basic workflow in Unity and how to get around the interface and so on. So let's get going. So let's have a look at what you get in the Balsa SDK project assets. So most of what you'll need, you will find here inside the Balsa SDK folder or possibly inside the assemblies if you're looking for components and behaviors to attach to things. So for now, just let's just have a look at the part setup scene that is included. And this is a fairly basic scene, which just includes a couple of uh, template objects and examples that you can use to have an idea of how parts in the game are set up. Let's make these gizmos smaller. And we've got a number of uh, part types included here, um, including like simple fairings and cowlings, as well as some functional parts like engines, propellers, and even a wing section. And we'll have a proper look at each of these in specific videos where we're gonna look at them in detail. Another thing you get here is uh, a set of references for all of the included um, fuselage profiles. If you're making parts, these can be handy. So if you got to this point, you're already all set up with the BAS SDK Unity project. We can confirm that we've got the SDK tools installed by coming up here to Tools, Floating Origin Interactive. Just open the Balsa Asset Bundle tools, and you can see here that we are on version 0.8 of the SDK. So we're now ready to get started making mods. So uh, check out our other videos in these tutorial series where we cover all the different aspects of mod making in detail. We'll see you there. Cheers.